Hello everybody, it's Matt from RoyalGreenBlog.com. Thanks for joining us here on YouTube. We are here a little earlier, but every Friday we do live stream with you guys. Hang out, talk Royal Caribbean together. Hope you're having a great day so far, and be sure to check out RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com uh, for everything Royal Caribbean related. And today, we are talking about the opposite of this. Not sitting in a room, but actually being on a cruise ship on a sea day. Yes, Imagine this, you're on the pool deck or somewhere on board the ship. Ship is sailing to its next destination, but all day long, you are hanging out while on board a Royal Caribbean ship. And we're talking about the activities, things to do, basically everything you want to do, top 10 things to do on a sea day. And uh, of course, number one, without a doubt, and by, by the way, after we go through our top 10 list, I'm going to look for your suggestions about top 10 things to do. Uh, via our uh, chat because we are live streaming this video on YouTube. So we'll be getting into the chat here in just a little bit. But number one thing you got to be able to do on a sea day without a shadow of a doubt, I've already alluded to it, which of course is hanging out by the pool. Pools are the heart of what makes a sea day so much fun. Uh, there's, there's tanning yourself, there's sunning yourself, there's playing, there's splashing, there's a little bit of everything, pool napping. Uh, there's a lot of great things to do in the pool deck and the pool deck is really where I think the hub of activity is going to be. We're not about nine other things to do on a sea day, but the pool is definitely number one with a bullet, no question about it. Number two thing to do on a sea day, if you're quite the motivated type, <laughs> which is to go work out. Royal Caribbean ships feature a fantastic fitness center in which you can have access to uh, free weights, machines, treadmills. There are even fitness classes available to you. And the thought is, well, if you're on a, if your ship is on a is, is on a sea day, you're not going anywhere, you're not doing an excursion. Perhaps this is a great opportunity for you to actually sit down, or not really sit down, but get down and burn off some of those calories from like everything else you've been doing on the cruise. So if working out is of interest to you, this is a really good chance. Also, to point out that if you're not a gym rat by any means, maybe you're kind of new to a gym, you've never really gone to a gym before. Royal Caribbean is a great spot to do it because the fitness centers on Royal Caribbean are complimentary. So that means there's no additional cost to use them. Number two, uh, they offer some really great equipment. This isn't like going to like some hotel gym that has like two free weights, a bike, and a mirror to look at. There's a lot more that's here. In fact, a lot of the fitness centers on Royal Caribbean ships are pretty spectacular, quite frankly. So definitely want to check that out. Uh, number two. Number three, you worked out. You're, you're sore. You know what you need? A, a massage, as they say on Royal Caribbean. Going to the spa is a great thing to do on a sea day. It's actually a very popular activity because, of course, you've got some extra downtime and people are looking to take advantage of the spa. Whether you're going to go get maybe your hair done, get a, a massage, or some other treatment at the spa, it's a great opportunity because, again, you have that built-in time. When it comes to the spa, the spa tends to get the busiest on sea days because, of course, everybody is sitting around and they're looking for things to do, as opposed to on port days where you find a lot more opportunity. If you do want to book something, uh, a treatment of some kind for the spa on a sea day, I definitely recommend booking it as early as you can. Heck, do yourself a favor, book it before the cruise via the cruise planner. You're going to find a lot better uh, opportunities there. And also, there are some deals from here and there, but really, it's about locking in a spot if you want to do that. Number four thing, you know, we started with it. We started with the fitness center, then we went to the spa. So now we're bringing it all the way back around with my number four tip, which, of course, is to eat. <laughs> on a sea day, there is lots of opportunity to eat. There's going to be complimentary food all over the place. The restaurants will be open. Heck, most, of, most if not all, of the specialty restaurants are also open on sea days because, again, there are people that are around and they want to eat. So whether you're going to be going to the main dining room or the Wind Jamer, great spots, by the way. Also, really a quick tip, on sea days, the main dining room is open for lunch, which is kind of a neat thing. The main dining room is always open for breakfast, always open for dinner, but lunch is only open for sea days. And what's interesting about the main dining room on sea days is their lunch menu is different than the dinner menu. So if you're thinking to yourself, oh, no, I don't want to eat the same thing we just ate yesterday or we're going to eat at dinner, it's not the same thing. They have a changing menu all the time. Plus, they have a great salad bar in the middle of the main dining room. It's a really good choice, especially if you're looking for a more relaxed approach to your, to your lunch uh, plans. I do recommend trying out lunch in the main dining room because it is a lot of fun uh, to be able to do. And, of course, you know, if it is a sea day, well, <laughs> I would probably not be breaking any new ground. 
by suggesting it's probably also a good opportunity to take advantage of that drink pack or just enjoy some drinks around the ship, whether you're getting up in the morning and having a Bloody Mary or a mimosa, maybe grabbing a bucket of beers for the afternoon, or whatever you whatever libation you prefer. There's a lot of great drinks to enjoy while on a cruise. You know, another really great sea day activity if you're looking to like get more in is to is to learn something, is to do something on board. A lot of times Royal Caribbean will offer different activities on board its ships uh, during the course of the sea day. Perhaps it's trivia, perhaps it is a sushi making class, perhaps it is a cupcake making class. There's a lot of opportunities to actually learn something, and learning while having a good time. I mean, don't get me wrong, this isn't like going to a college course or anything. It's an opportunity, an immersion kind of course, where you get your chance to, like I said, make sushi or do some sort of activity. There's also napkin folding demonstrations. I know it doesn't sound very exciting, but it really is. Uh, it's kind of cool to see how this how the sausage is made and get your. Uh, what makes it really fun is you get an opportunity to try it out yourself. So definitely give that a shot. Now, if your idea of a sea day fun is a little more fun than learning, well, then definitely take a look at the cruise compass. Uh, for your sea day activities, because there's a lot of things going on. You can have the World Sexiest Man competition. You can have the Belly Flop competition. Uh, there's a lot of different games and, and activities. There'll be dodgeball. Uh, Royal Caribbean really likes to mix up the activities they offer on board their ships on a sea day. And the good news for you is there's a lot of different things to do. So when you look at your cruise compass, and the cruise compass, by the way, is the daily newspaper that lists everything you're doing on a Royal Caribbean cruise for that day. You're going to find on, on port days, you know, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, there's a nice listing there. On sea days, they have to squeeze the font down to, like, size 10 in order to fit it all in because there's so many different activities going on. If you're going on one of the larger Royal Caribbean ships, you know, an Oasis-class ship, a Freedom-class ship, a Quantum-class ship, I mean, you're just going to – it's going to be chock full of activities. In fact, on Oasis-class ships, they will actually have a daytime uh, sea pass – sea pass, sea – uh, cruise compass and a nighttime cruise compass version. That's how many activities there are. So do yourself a favor, read the cruise compass. I recommend the night before, so that way you know exactly what there is to do. You're about a lot of cool things to do on there. Uh, next up on our list of top sea day activities is, of course, taking a show. A lot of times, Royal Caribbean will offer some of its shows during the daytime on a sea day. This is great for the ice skating show, perhaps one of the musicals that's offered on board. There's a lot of entertainment, and of course there's also live music, but the bottom line is if you want to be entertained, if you want to sit back and watch a great performance, sea days are a really great time to do this because, again, you're not competing with dinner and all the other activities in the evening. During a sea day, you have a lot more time on your hands, so look for those shows. It's also a great way if you've been if you missed a show already earlier in the cruise, and you're like, oh man, I missed that musical I wanted to see or the ice skating show. This may be a perfect opportunity to see, you know, a hairspray or Mamma Mia or one of the amazing ice skating shows. There's usually something going on, so keep an eye out for that one. Now, if you're, uh, of course, if we're talking about kids here, kids may be saying, well, this is all fun and dandy. But I want, I'm, you know, how many times have you heard this from your kids, right? I'm bored. I don't want to do this anymore. I mean, the pool is fun. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with the pool, but the pool can get crowded. But don't overlook the fact that Royal Caribbean will keep Adventure Ocean open during sea days. So if you're looking for uh, something for your kids to do, definitely drop them off at Adventure Ocean. My kids, as soon as they wake up, they, they have two things on their mind. They want to get breakfast, and then they want to go to camp, as they call it. But going to Adventure Ocean is a great thing to do on your sea day because uh, there's tons of activities for them. Of course, Adventure Ocean is complimentary during the daytime, and it offers a ton of programming for the kids to do. They can play with other kids. They can do things they want to do. Meanwhile, that opens up time for you to go do other things like hang out in the solarium, uh, have some of those drinks I talked about earlier. Heck, any of those th other activities I mentioned earlier in this broadcast would really be a great thing for a sea day. Speaking of things to do on a sea day, also, can't overlook the, the activities and thrills that are available on many Royal Caribbean ships. Water slides, the flow rider, the rock climbing wall, ice skating. Uh, you know, These are just some of the amazing activities that are available on a Royal Caribbean ship. And if you're going on one of the newer ships, or maybe one of the newly revitalized ships, that offer some of these crazy, great, amazing, can't believe they put this on a cruise ship activity, well then you're definitely going to want to check out these uh, offerings during a sea day. Now, they're going to be popular, so there could be a line involved, but it's probably one of the best times to go check out 
these activities, if the flow ride or the water slides, uh, it, it's just, it's a natural fit for it. Uh, so you're going to be, you know, zip lining, mini golf. Uh, I mean, depending on what ship you're going on, there is a ton to really enjoy. And sea days are a great time for it because you have all that built in time to enjoy it. And we talk, uh, my last one, number 10, is something that I think, you know, we're talking a lot about all these crazy fun things to do. But at the end of the day, you can also just take it completely easy. Sleep in and kind of just simply relax. Take it easy. Grab your book, find a, find a chair, pass out, and then be like, what, C day? You woke up later on in the evening. I mean, napping and relaxing and taking it easy is really uh, a great activity. A lot of people like going to the solarium and just simply vegging out over there. And, you know, it all, I think inevitably relaxing somewhere on the ship usually coincides with also napping somewhere on the ship. So something to keep in mind as you're looking forward. But there you go. Those are our top 10 uh, things to do on a sea day on uh, Royal Caribbean. So I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, about what you like doing on sea days. I'm going to go over to our chat now. we got uh, Luca Watts. Welcome. Uh, Rich says, my sea days are all about cocktails by the pool. Hey, dude, that's a great activity right there. Love it. Um, Elizabeth G, first cruise in 40 years, Jewel of the Seas. Wow, that is a crazy long gap, but I'm glad you're going on a cruise again. Um, uh, let's see, Magical Girly, your first time catching the live chat, too. If you are live, this is your, sorry, you are live, whatever you're live, but if this is your first time watching me live on YouTube, my name is Matt, I'm from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Would love to know uh, if you are new, because if you are, type N N E W new in capital letters, so I can say, I can welcome you in here. Um, Elizabeth Callahan, first time, <clears throat> excuse me, first cruise this November. I was wondering if you could pay for things during sea days with cash versus uh, tying your account to a credit card. You cannot pay directly with cash, Elizabeth. What you could do, though, <clears throat> charge everything in the CPAS card and then walk on down to get services and be like, here's a bunch of cash and credit it against your account. Same difference. But when you're doing these actual activities, any transaction you do on board the ship requires your CPAS card. Hopefully that makes some sense there. Um, <clears throat> Joy Prowse says, Roger likes to take the spin class in the gym. He brings his own shoes and switches the pedals. Nice. That's uh, that's professional right there. I just show up in like a pair of shorts and I'm like, hey, I'm ready to go. Uh, Joy Prowse loves sea days. Ryan Harris likes to drink. Jo uh, Jay Gordillo likes to sleep. I like that. Um... Michelle Whitteberger is new. Welcome, Michelle. Glad to have you here. Paul Gadet is new. Rich Nally is new as welcome. Welcome, guys. I'm so glad you were here. Uh, Luca Watts, first time live. Uh, Jeremy Reinhardt, taking your girlfriend for her first cruise in May. Boy, isn't it, isn't it fun when you, you've been on a cruise before, but you're taking your first timer with you, and they have really no idea what to expect. I mean, they have an idea, but it's nothing like, they, they don't, they have no way to really truly comprehend what is waiting for them. You know what I mean? Juan L'Oreal is here. Welcome, Juan. Uh, Luca is going on Symphony of the Sea September 3rd. Any recommendations on what to do? Everything I just mentioned. Check out all the activities. What you want to do, Luca, is study that cruise compass when you're on board the ship and look for all the cool things to do on board. Take advantage of the amazing entertainment, activities, and things to eat while on board the ship. Um, let's see. Uh, Cheryl uh, Grecki says, Heading to Cuba on Empress of the Season 10 days. So excited about her. Cuba may stop visits. Do you know anything about that? Cheryl, of course, Cheryl's talking about some news that came out yesterday, or in the last 48 hours, I'll say, uh, from the uh, current administration here in the United States, that they uh, have kind of dialed back some of the uh, some of the regulations that allowed for travel to Cuba. As of right now, Cheryl, today, like this recording, nothing's changed yet. Uh, Royal Caribbean and other cruise lines are still evaluating how the changes will impact, if any, thing. And, of course, if they do, we'll post it at royalcreamblog.com. Um, let's see here. Great stuff. Uh, Kayla Rojas is new as well. Selling on Majesty in eight days. Loves my channel. Well, Kayla, welcome. Glad you are here and glad you're enjoying this. Penelope Perry, is Oasis going to be back in action soon? Yes, Penelope. Uh, Oasis just got back this week to Spain, and she's undergoing dry dock work, and she'll be back in service, I believe, in the uh, very beginning of May. Uh, Kathy Weber says, the casino is your downfall. As one casino addict to another, I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, the, uh, it is, uh, the casino is a, um, 
is a cruel mistress. <laughs> she invites you in, and then more often than not, you leave kind of like, oh, oh. Uh, Shante Thomas going on our first cruise on the Enchantment of the Seas in 10 days. Nice. Glad to hear that. Vlog Channel is here. Welcome. Uh, Barbara is going on her first cruise May 19th on Allure of the Seas. Uh, Luca's new, but I know you uploaded from uploaded videos. Well, you're new here to my live streams. That's what matters. We do actually do a live stream every Friday. So uh, make sure if you're not already, uh, you hit the like button for this video. Subscribe. So that way you get notifications when we go live. Because that way I want you to be able to be here when we are live. Alex Santiago is new as well, going on Allure in September. Uh, Elizabeth Cowling, can't wait for her first cruise. Also, your podcasts have been so helpful. Awesome. And Elizabeth, welcome to our face to our YouTube live. I think like Facebook, but um, let's see here. Nala the kitty cat. Does Royal Caribbean have non-alcoholic cocktails? My son loves fruity drinks. Absolutely. They can make any cocktail into a virgin cocktail. Nala, my daughters, both love them. A fruity mixed drink that has no alcohol in there. Uh, they like uh, virgin daiquiris. Uh, virgin pina coladas, I think, right now are where they're, where they're really interested in. Juan is going on Navigator this season 24 more days. Nice. Uh, two Speed's favorite seat activities to sleep, then breakfast, then casino. I like it. <laughs> uh, William Faye, first time live, 17 member family cruise. Holy moly on Mariner. Well, you're going to have an awesome time on board, no question. Brandon from the UK is here. We'll be on alert this season, September 17th. First live, but not new. Well, uh, Brandon, welcome our, our live videos. Glad you are here. I think I'm caught up on uh, people who are new here. Uh, Real Sasquatch going on Mariner on Monday. This is probably going to be the longest weekend of your life. Stuart Hellman, uh, back-to-back -back symphony starting September 3rd. Nice. Uh, Rosalind says, best way to spend a sea day afternoon is in the sauna and steam rooms. That's a great one. That didn't make my list, but you know what? Spending some time there and just kind of... Oh, man, closing your eyes and enjoying the sauna sea room. I, I'm digging that. I like that quite a bit. Uh, Scott Smith going on Oasis June 23rd. Awesome. Uh, it sounds like we've all got some really fun things planned here for your first Royal Caribbean cruise or, or just next sailing. Uh, WR says, if, you're, uh, if you are the drink renter for the wife and kids on the pool deck, does everyone need to get their own drink, or can you pick up a four-drink order yourself? You can do a four-drink order yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me, I can't seem to clear my throat this morning. Um, if you if you and your wife have the drink package, you just need both cards. But if you're ordering drinks, you're paying, you know, you don't have a drink package, you're just buying drinks up individually, that's fine. You can be like, I have like, you know, four drinks here. No, no problem whatsoever. Uh, Ray Beery, my family and I will be going on Symphony of the Seas in August, Western Caribbean. I'm so excited about, our first, about the Mexico ports. Mexico ports are great. My kids love going to Mexico on a cruise. Penelope wants to know, what is my next cruise? It's actually uh, May 9th on Harmony of the Seas. Jose Peña, I'm broadcasting now. i got to get it in now or it's not going to happen today. And I feel bad because I feel like if I ever skip live broadcasts, it's almost always YouTube. So here we are. Anna Tinsman, what's going on, Anna? Mariner, August 30th. Shout out to Anna. We've cruised together a couple times. Uh, love hanging out with Anna. She's a, She is always a fun person. Uh, cruiser to, to cruise with, so uh, uh, hopefully Anna will get a chance to do that again on an upcoming Royal Caribbean Blog group cruise. Um, there you go. Alright guys, this is a quick broadcast today. I just wanted to be able to stop in and say hello. Uh, do appreciate your support. Be sure to check out RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com for everything Royal Caribbean related. We've got a lot of cool stuff waiting for you guys. Jose Pena, 77 days till the Anthem Group Cruise. You got a question mark in there, but I'm going with that. Sounds about right. Uh, can't wait for that one, Jose. That's our next Royal Caribbean Blog Group Cruise. Um, looks like the uh, video is having some issues here, so I'm going to wrap this up. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy your weekend. Do something fun, and we'll talk again very soon.